Straight ahead. Of course, I planned it that way. We'll be able to land before sunset. That's right, I planned it that way. Yeah, well, there's no one to meet us. Did you plan that too? No one to meet us. Look over there near the wall. Hey, it's Don Miguel. That's right. I know, you planned it that way. We will wait here. Don Miguel. Oh, Chuck, it's so good to see you again. Pizzi, Don Miguel. You're looking wonderful, Don Miguel. The ranch doesn't seem to have changed much. In one year? Well, it has remained the same since before Luisa was born. Oh, you haven't met my daughter. Luisa, Chuck Martin, Pete Moore, young lady. How do you do? It certainly is a pleasure, Luisa. Thank you. As always, when you're in Del Rio, my home is your home. Thank you, sir. We're having trouble on the ranch now. I must attend to it before sunset. Can we help you with it, Don Miguel? Perhaps. We will discuss it at dinner. Meanwhile, I'll leave you in good hands. Luisa, you will show our guests to the house. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, senor. Don Miguel seems kind of worried, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. Luisa, what's it all about? These servants will not go outside when it grows dark. My father tries to reassure them that, that it really is not dangerous. Dangerous? Danger from what? The thing. It is something that they call El Diablo. The devil. What is this El Diablo? I have not seen it yet because I, I just returned from Mexico City a few days ago. I only know what they say. It flies when the day is over. It glows in the dark and, and it disappears in the sky. <laughs> Sounds like a flying saucer. Sure does. But does a flying saucer scream? What's wrong? El Diablo. El Diablo, where? Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, out there somewhere. You haven't seen anything. You're just taking the word of a frightened child. What can I do? It's coming from out there somewhere. I hear it too now. Now, gentlemen, we have had the privilege of seeing the thing for ourselves. Do you think it really is a flying saucer, Chuck? There's only one way to find out. I'm with you. Oh, be careful. Be careful, boy. No. No, no, no. Think of that. I think it's going. Kind of hard to tell at night. Hey, what do you know? Gone. Just like that. Yeah. back. Yeah, I guess so. It is my opinion that this thing is in reality a flying saucer. Just how many times has this flying saucer or devil been around here? Five times. Have you kept a record of the dates? 
But I have some notes in my study. I'd like to take a look at them after dinner. At your pleasure, senor. I'll tell you, P.T. and I will look for this thing as long as our gas holds out. And when will you do this? First thing in the morning. Good. I shall see you off. Beautiful girl or no beautiful girl, I don't think we should wait any longer. Well, I don't know. I should be awfully disappointed if we don't. Where is there, senorita? I thought you were going to leave without me. Well, we almost did. You see? This gasoline is payment so that you will take me with you. Well, it's very nice of you, honey, but there could be trouble on this trip. You ride for Luisa? No gasoline. Okay, then. But it's like putting a gun in our backs. Come on, let's load up. Pretty high to do it. How many acres does your father own, anyway? Many thousands. Oh, look, there's part of the herd. I see it. There's a good place to land there, too. Well, it has many memories for me. What about El Diablo? Well, we can look for him tomorrow. Maybe he will find us first. Poppy's grave. May I take your picture? You're a little more photogenic than I am. Let me take your picture. Smile. Hey, Steve, we're ready to go now. 
now. I'll go get him. I'll come with you. Nothing exciting. Why don't you come when I called you? How'd the pictures come out? Well, not too bad. That one's my favorite. Mine too. You know, Chuck, you take a very good picture. Yeah, I wish I had one like that for myself. Don't you worry. I'm going to give Chuck a big one in a frame. Magnificent. Seeing you is worth the whole trip. General Francisco, it is a pleasure to greet my father's old friend. But, Luisa, you must be aware that it is you I come to see. Do you remember Steve Cantrell from Panama? Cantrell? Oh, the fellow that's on trial and got a dishonorable discharge? Yeah. Well, he's in there and back in uniform again. No kidding. Come on, let's take a look. Luisa, my dear, I should like to present the captain of my yacht, Senor Steve Cantrell. Senor Capitan, I welcome you to my father's house. The pleasure, senorita, is all mine. Thank you. I believe luncheon is ready. If the general will escort Luisa, we men will follow. Oh, Capitan, I don't believe you know these gentlemen. I don't believe so, Don Miguel. Senor Martin, Senor Moore, Capitan Cantrell. Captain, how do you do? How do you do? Now, Capitan, you'll be so kind to sit right here. I must compliment you on your collection of guns. This is my favorite one. It belonged to a Cordova who was with Pizarro. It is truly magnificent. <laughs> Speaking of guns, Don Miguel, have they discovered who's been stealing rifles and ammunition from the National Arsenal? I regret to say, no, Captain, they haven't. And it has happened, you know, three times. Capitan, you will please to get the automobile at once. We must not be delayed. Yes, General. Oh, General, before you depart, I would like to ask for your advice. As you know, I've been having trouble with my people lately. Remember when you and Luisa were taking pictures this afternoon? Yeah. I found this in the brush. So what? It's not valuable. Well, take a look at it. It's not tarnished. It's not even dirty. Yeah, that means whoever dropped it was there just before we were, huh? That's right. Now look at the general's sleeve. Probably a flying saucer. I would take no chances. No chances at all. I would stay in the house until such time as the authorities say it is safe to go out at night. Pardon me. I did not mean to lose control of myself. It's quite all right. Now I must say goodbye. I wish to thank you for a very delightful lunch. My pleasure, General. Luisa, we will escort the General to his car. Surely, Papa. I think we'd better make a little flight before sunset. Good idea. Just enough light to land. Let's hope it holds a little longer. There's a spot. Here we go.
thing. I guess you better start where you found the button. I guess not. Well, we're sure no one's inside. We may as well go back to the copter and wait. Look, suppose we're wrong and nothing happens tonight. All we can do is wait and see. Do you hear something? I don't know. We ought to find out pretty soon. Hey, it's gone. Can you still hear it? That sounds like a helicopter. Yeah. Well, at least that's something we can handle. We can sure try. those lights playing on that thing really worked. How do we cause the noise? Oh, well, there's your answer. A wire recorder. Oh, yeah. And a loudspeaker. Let's pull some ignition wire. Hey, Chuck. Let's get out of here. We should draw them out of there. Right. Try to jump the last man as he comes out. How many in there? Two, as far as I know. Good. Every one of these is in good condition. The rifles are quite modern and well taken care of. After I nail these up, I'll glue the auto parts labels on. Good, good. Be certain they are firmly sealed. Remember, they go under the boxes marked tuna fish.
since anything else you want, you just let me know, huh? Mm. The government was happy to receive the stolen guns and the three prisoners. That was quite an experience. That set up on the helicopter really worked, didn't it? It <laughs> sounds simple, but it was so effective. Well, I must change now and get ready. Louisa! Don't leave me. You're perfect as you uh, are. P.T., we know that you don't feel well, so Louisa and I are going to take a drive into town. Oh, but the air will make me feel good. No, no, no it's a new it's... Luisa is going to meet her fiancé, who will visit us for a week. Fiancé? 